So I think it's uh, Sunday 20th of March and um, we've just been trying to grapple with some of the ivy that's you can see it's growing right in the roof there on the outhouse the cow shed <laughs> um, actually if I can get back through here oh. This is the back. There's a cow shed and um, there's a tree growing right into the roof there. We have got permission to go in there and sort it out, but how? I don't know. It's a pretty big tree. So there's something to think about. There's Sean the, the bramble warrior, Brambo. <laughs> And um Nelly come on good girl we've uh, we've cleaned out the the gutters on the cow shed today and um done quite a lot of bramble digging down the garden days just fly by they really do. Don't know where the time goes. Um, so I've just managed to saw that off and I'm um, going to raise that barrel up a bit. It's another another water but it hasn't rained for about two weeks. This dry arid country island and um, yeah that one water butt that filled up um, from the barn roof <laughs> it's empty now compost heap going well. Pile of brambles number goodness knows what. That's going to end up on there keeping us warm later. Um, lady gave me a free cycle rug which I'm going to scrub and that can go in the bedroom. This really old one here. It looks absolutely filthy though. I don't know how I'm going to clean it. Peas planted under there should come up soon. Um, Shallow Canish isn't getting used very much now. It's uh, it's waiting for when we've done everything else, and uh, I can get to work doing that up for our guests. We've spent the last couple of days building up a lot of the perimeter you can see over there to kind of poodle proof it they'll be letting the cows out next month so um, yeah don't want any poodles getting kicked in the head and yesterday is my prize lovely Antoinette rafter and her husband Noel gave us this um, fantastic hen house which of course needs a, a bit of um, a little bit of restoration gonna need to walk out for some plywood I think um, but yeah eventually that'll go over there near the cow shed and um, a great big run we can get some hens from and this from the farmer's market. Uh, what else is new? I've done absolutely nothing to the house because the weather's been so good we've got to make the most of it. I've got a little greenhouse full of uh, full of little seedlings. That looks a bit dry. Let's get the watering can out again. Have another water butt to fill up down there, channel it down there. Get the chainsaw out to chop that lot up. Not the poodle, the wood. I'm building up this. Met another one of our neighbours yesterday who was mowing with his tractor over there. It's all kind of freshly cut. I think Nelly would love to run around in there. I think that's a little, 
a little robin that's been following me around everywhere. Send all this out and um, make it a bit more poodle friendly. Poodle friendly. <laughs> There's our Nelly. Um, Sean hacked all those brambles down with the um, brush cutter and we've been busy raking all this, raking all the brambles up and digging out the roots. So we did that for about two or three hours this morning. Busy, busy, busy. And over here you see all these brambles have still got to be raked up and dug out. It's not very uh, nice for the dogs to walk on. They pick their way through very carefully. Look at our Cleo there. Don't like it much. <laughs> Lovely primroses. And this is where We've been dig, 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 digging onions and garlic in there and some spuds. That one's full of spuds. Planted that one full of spuds yesterday. And this bit is the one we've been working on lately and it's absolutely full of these stones. It's quite a challenge separating everything out. Quite hard work. Got some more free bits of carpet. Um, and we have put most of that down here still lots more raking to do because we've decided you can see where we've cut down some of these trees I do hate cutting down trees but um, it's got to be done really make room for other ones that we need and um, this is going to be the site for our polytunnel because um, yeah we're facing south at the minute it's not a very sunny day today but um, facing south um, down here of course won't be too too shaded by trees so we're going to put the polytunnel here I think Sean's going to drive to Durham for it in about three weeks time when he goes over to the UK. Uh, yeah, so that's a little update. That's all folks. <laughs>